I'm not doing an old job this time. I got this 428 backhoe, which is mine, and it's got a problem. Down here in the injector pump, is it's leaking fuel out down around the bottom of the injector pump there. I've decided that uh, it needs fixing. After starting it up the other day, had a pile of diesel on the ground on there. You'd sort of see it where it was. And uh, this is where it's coming from. So I've started it up and it's pouring out when it's cold. And uh, I think that injector pump's gonna have to come out. Probably the seal in the front is no good. Needs changing. So this might be a bit of a job we're gonna do. Now I've had the water draining down there, the, the coolant draining out. And uh, it's been slow going. She's down to a drip now. So we've got to take the water pump off. So all the coolant's got to come out. That black thing there in the middle, that's the water pump. Air conditioning compressor, I'll have to take it off, so that's the next thing. This is a bracket for the air conditioning compressor. I've got to get down here and get the fan shroud bolts. It's got to come off. All right, I've got to. I've had to shift the, the bonnet, which is up there. Undo that, lift it up, because I think I'll have to. Uh, the fan will have to go upwards, and the cowl and everything. Okay, I'm doing a bit of an update. The radiator's all undone, and I'm going around to this side now. The alternator was there. The fan was bolted onto these which is there. And um, this little fella here is coming off right here. I'll be taking him off. That uh, looks like that one yet. And a few wires. And then we can get to the water pump. Right, oh, here I am in the predicament I'm in. I've got a big problem here because this bolt right here, I've, I've burned it over, it's so tight. The 10 millimeter uh, ring spanner socket has just birded over it's so tight. So what I'm gonna have to do is, I've machined that a little bit, and I'm gonna weld that on there, then I'll get the bigger size socket onto it and see if I can get it undone. I have seen some, I have heard of such a thing happening as where this stud snaps off inside there and then there's nothing more you can do about it. Um, yeah, so anyway, I haven't snapped it off. I've just stripped it. So here we go. I've got cardboard up against the radiator. I don't think there's anything really going to happen down there. Um, so we're, I'm just going to bring the welder in and give it a tack. Okay, here's a couple of minutes later. Welded on there. Was blowing red hot. So uh, I'll let it cool down and then we'll give it a turn. Righto, here's the moment of truth. Let's see if it's going to either break or undo. Can I get it in the right spot? Whoa! Well, it's either twisting off really good or, or it's undo. I think it's going to undo. Anyway, it's, I've got it undone to there. I've just got to try and get it out now. I think it's come out to the end of the thread. It's just got to try and work okay, it out. There's the water pump. She's all off and all seems pretty good. Okay, there's the water pump spot. I've cleaned up the gasket a bit. And this one here seems to have those four bolts. So they're getting the pump out. And... Uh, Okay, I've got a couple of bolts out there. I'll put a, put a few marks around them, make sure they go in the same spot. But that drill, it's an eight millimeter drill, goes in there and that, so you get it to there and you turn the crankshaft until that goes in the hole and that should be timed. As long as we put it back in exactly the same place, it should be good. That's my latest plan. And I'm gonna pull the injector pump out 
Righto, there we go. Check the pumps off. And the cog is still in there. You don't have to take the cog out. It just sits there and you don't let it fall out of its teeth position. I've got some marks down in there. And uh, as long as I put it back in there, the injector pump, do it up with all those circles right on the smack on, they'll be right. And um, here's the pump. Got it blocked off and uh, well, the seals are in behind there. That's the offending seals. And I've had a little bit of a go at undoing this and getting that off and oof, it's tight. So uh, I'll have to think about it for a while and I've had to do a bit of work to it. It's This was sitting on top of there with the nut and everything on top of there. Oops. And I've had to extract the seals out of there. And okay, that one was in there. Then there was a circlip. And this one was the first one to come out. That's the oil seal. That circlip groove, which is, can you see it there? You can see a little hole down in there little hole there that goes to the outside right there and that's where the diesel was leaking out and um, what I've found is th the bottom seal seals the diesel then there's a little ring th the circlip ring lets the fuel out if it's leaking and then the next seal stops the oil so the oil seal wasn't, um, was fine. But the beauty of it all is, if the injector pump seal leaks diesel, it doesn't go into the engine and into the sump. It leaks it out that hole there. So uh, that's what's been going on. And sure enough, that'll be the bottom one. Can't really see how bad that is. But the lip, the dip lip on the diesel side is definitely way worse than the oil side so um yeah that's how that goes i've got to go and get some more seals now that's my next job and it won't be hard to put back together right oh i've been to town got some new seals there is the one new seal there's the old ones and i'll put the one in there put one circlip in and uh I've put a bit of grease around the rim and he's got to go in this way because he's the one that does the oil. Right, I'll put the seal on there. This one's got to go on with that slot in the right spot. There. Yep, and looks like we've got enough room for the circlip. There it is. Now there's the pump drive plate. Because I've had this this done up tight, nothing's moved inside the nothing's moved inside the pump. Now I've got to put this doesn't have a keyway. I know it's got a key slot there, but there's no keyway in there. So uh, this has to line up with that hole again. And it's spot on there, so we just got to get it in the middle, and then I can do the nut up. And this was tight before, I can tell you. Righto, slowly going back together. Slowly getting the bolts back in. Everything seems to be lining up good. Pull that up. Righto. They're all done up there, and it all seems to be in pretty much exactly the same position. So the timing should be all good. Timing's all good, and uh, just got to put all the pipes back in. All the injection pipes, there's a bolt down the back there. Once you've gotten to this stage, it's very important not to forget to undo this one. 
because that is the one that um, locks the drive of the pump. And if you were to run it with that, <laughs> probably make a mess in there, I'd say. Yeah, that little washer slides down. Yeah, then you tighten him back up again. And this drill has to fit in that hole there. And then there it is. So we're in exactly the same position as we were before. So that we're timed. Right out. Water pump's on. This air conditioning bracket's on. I'm getting on with it. And I've actually put an injector pipe back on. And I can't believe how easy it, it bled up and started uh, without a water pump. But that's all right. And there's that. Yep, I just put it back on there. It'll do the job. This piece here, nothing to do with the injector pump, but it, it was leaking all around here. So I've resealed it with a new gasket. I've got the fan. I think I'm going to put this pipe on next onto the bottom radiator hose. Uh, I think it'll be easier without the fan. And then we can put the fan, fan cowling in goes on in these and then it's alternator top radiator hose we're getting there yep another update getting there slowly put it all back together and um that's all happening in here too gotta to put the fan belts on plug a few more plugs in alternators yet to go on which is right there. And uh, fan cows in, she all turns okay. Okay, got the alternator on. And um, yeah, it's all getting done there. There you are. She's all going again. Can't find any leaks, so I'm happy. the video there. Back is all going again.